The Lompoc Police Department is on day eight of its triage center after evicting the homeless who were living in the San Inez Riverbed. The question remains, where will these people go? Now, Lompoc's police chief is suggesting maybe your house. KSPY's Melissa Newman is live in Lompoc with the story. All right, Melissa, how would this work? Richard and Kathy, the Lompoc community is known to be very generous, but this riverbed issue has many people divided. Despite this, however, Lompoc's chief of police is now asking people open up their homes to those in need. Continuing to pursue giving a hand up and not a hand out, Lompoc's chief of police, Pat Walsh, has been on the front lines of the city's riverbed issues, going into the riverbed every day for the last 30 days. Yeah, I'm happy for the numbers, it's it's a lot more than we anticipated. It's uh, it's a lot of people to help, but that's exactly what the folks out there are trying to do. Now that 60 people have been successfully relocated to the new triage center, Chief Walsh is trying to help these people find a roof over their heads while housing is in such a shortage. Housing is the biggest part of this issue is there's no housing. Even people that have uh, vouchers for Section 8 housing, there is no place to, to use that voucher. So it's kind of frustrating for the people that we're trying to help. That's why Walsh is hoping to get people across the Central Coast to open their homes to the people who were living in the riverbed. Uh, we wouldn't just say, here's the person. I mean, they, there would have to be, you know, some compatibility. And uh, obviously we wouldn't... Uh, Anybody that was drug affected, that, that wouldn't make sense. You're not going to take somebody that has a, an addiction problem into your home. Walsh says communities like Oakland and Santa Cruz have similar programs where neighbors have done this, but we were unable to confirm that so far. We asked people in Lompoc if they'd be interested in opening up their homes. Um, if they were on the right road to, rec you know, to um, fulfilling their lives in a more positive way, um, and especially if they have little ones, I think that could benefit their families um, in a positive way as long as there was not any drugs involved. For me it's hard. I got kids and I just can't let anybody in my home. I mean I gotta think about my kids, my family first and and then you know I'm totally for helping them but in a different way. Now, if you're interested in helping out and opening up your home, you're asked to call the Lompoc Police Department. If that doesn't sound like it's for you, the triage center is in need of warm clothes, water and snacks. You can drop those by as well. Live and local in Lompoc, Melissa Newman at KSBY News.